Recently, a blogger by the name of Amy Elkin posted about a sexual assault e-booklet from the Dean of Students at Clark University in Massachusetts. The title of her blog was pretty ominous. At Clark University, giving a girl flowers is rape. The reason behind the dramatic title is about to become apparent. This is taken straight from that e-booklet. A definition of rape, sexual assault and related terms. Rape, sexual assault. Although the legal definition of rape varies from state to state, rape is generally defined as forced or non-consensual sexual contact. Rape or sexual assault is forced, manipulated or coerced sexual contact by a stranger, friend or acquaintance. A person is forced into sexual contact through verbal coercion, threats, physical restraint and or physical violence. Consent is not given. Coercion Coercion is the use of emotional manipulation to persuade someone to something they may not want to do, like being sexual or performing certain sexual acts. Examples of some coercive statements include, If you love me, you would have sex with me. If you don't have sex with me, I will find someone who will. And, I'm not sure I can be with someone who doesn't want to have sex with me. Coercive statements are often part of many campus acquaintance rapes. Being coerced into having sex or performing sexual acts is not consenting to having sex and is considered rape slash sexual assault. Consent. Consent is clear permission between intimate partners that what they are doing is okay and safe. To consent to something, like being sexual, means you confidently agree to do it based on your own free will without any influence or pressure. So according to Clark University, saying if you don't want to have sex with me, I'll find someone that does is coercion. Meaning that if the person you say that to subsequently has sex with you, that's rape and you're a rapist. It makes you wonder how many other universities have insane fucked up guidelines and policies like this. If you're a university student, do us a favour and have a look into it. If it's particularly fucked up at your university, let me know. Now thankfully, the Washington Post got a hold of this story, and when they contacted Clark University, they were advised that this is not the current policy of the university. Fancy that. See ya.